this is Lucy and welcome to a Building 101 in Fallout 76 episode. This is the first episode um, and it was a little bit delayed this week because um, I've actually had a problem with my throat because my asthma is playing up. So I will try and enunciate. Um, today I'm on Scarlet. Scarlet is level 38 now. Uh, I thought it would be easier to do this on a lower level character um, to show what you can do on low level characters and um, as this video is for people that don't build a lot or new players for the game. As you can see I already have a camp here on Scarlet. This is a tiny house I built and if you'd like to see a bit more about this house then I think I cover the basics of how to build it in um, a previous video. My plan today is to cover the very, very basics of how to build in 76, what you need, cover plans, this sort of thing, and show you how to build a simple structure. Um, if you already know how to build, then you might want to skip this episode. As always, I'm going to play this by ear and see what people want. Once I've covered the basics, I'm planning to um, do some specific shows about specific things, um, an episode on building fireplaces, railings, complex roofs, that sort of thing. So I will make a start. Um, if you're very new to the game uh, and you want to build, I would suggest that when you leave Vault 76 that you at least follow the Overseer's quest from the camp to Flatwoods and then up to the airport. It gives you um, an overview of building. Um, there is actually a quest at the at Morgantown Airport which um, helps you to, to build early on in the game. And um, But obviously it's up, up to you if you want to dive straight into Wastelanders. The building system is not particularly complicated. Um, you have a you have what's called a camp widget which you place down and it gives you um, a build area. To get into the build menu you either press A on your widget or you can hold down what's called the back button, the small button with the two windows on your Xbox controller. Obviously I play on Xbox, I'm sorry I don't know what the equivalent um, controls are on PlayStation or PC. Everything within the green area you can, in theory, build on. There have been some issues uh, over the last 18 months with collision. They did change the collision, so sometimes you can't actually build through rocks. There is a bulldozer facility that allows you to remove certain objects from the world. Um, rocks, small trees. As you can see I've placed a foundation down. The bulldozer should remove the plants that are sticking through but it doesn't seem to be working at 100% capacity at the moment. To be able to build objects in the world you um, need to find plans. When you first leave the vault you are given basic building plans as such they're already unlocked uh, but if you want more complicated things and variations of things then you will need to find plans in the world. Plans can be found in various locations lying around. I quite often find them in toolboxes. Some events will drop plans. If you take a workshop you will get a building plan and um, in fact to, do, to unlock some of the home defence items you need to take a workshop and those will unlock in your build menu. Plans are also available from vendors. There is a vendor at White Springs that sells some quite expensive home plans and all of the train stations. You can also pick up plans at player vendors. Once you have a plan you need to go to your notes and you need to read the plan by clicking on it. Crafting item unlocked, long pew. If you pick up another copy of that plan, because you can find them in the world, 
you will see that at the top of your notes section you will have known plans. You can't sell these to in-world vendors, you can sell them at in-player vendors though. So we'll go into the build menu. The build menu is set up into different sections. You can use the right and left shoulder buttons to move across the sections at the top. You will notice here, the top left, the Nuka Cola machine, it has an atom symbol. You can buy items for your camp in the atom store and these will have that symbol. You cannot build them in other players camps. You can build regular world plan items in other players camps if you're on a team with them but you can't build atom store items. You will notice with this particular instance, the fridge, that there's a little arrow to the right of the box. This means if you use the D-pad to move across, it will show you variations of fridge. With this item, you can see that there is an orange lock on it. This means that the plan exists in the world for it, but that you haven't found it, so it is locked. If you don't want to see these when you're building, if you press in the left stick, it will only show you the plans, the items that you can actually build. Right, for today I was going to show you how to build a straightforward cabin. I was going to elaborate on it slightly to show how easy it is to, to make things look a bit more appealing. Items like foundations snap to each other and you can move things by if you look up or down it will move the item up or down if you hold down a and push the left stick away from you or towards you you can move it on the x axis a x axis i think most of us when we start out start with a 2x3 cabin or a 2x2 cabin. You do need resources to build so I would suggest early in the game that you pick up as much scrap as you can. If you have Fallout first you will have a scrap box which has an infinite budget but if you don't then um, obviously you need to be a little more cautious about how much you collect. If you get over encumbered you can scrap your junk at any workbench. For building the most important resources are wood, steel and cement and if you'd like me to cover the best places to get those in the game for high and low level characters then please let me know in the comments but I'm pretty certain there are lots of other videos about that out there. As you can see this is a wood wall, it is snapping to the foundation, that's what that clicking noise is, and it is snapping with the inside facing inwards. If you want to turn your walls around, which you can do, you would need another foundation on the other side, because then your wall would be snapping to the snap point on the foundation at the rear. You can then actually just remove and store that foundation by pressing X. You might want to do this if you'd like to put wallpaper on the outside of your walls. Wallpapers are available in the Atom store and they do occasionally give free ones and there are ones that you can earn in the game. This ochre wallpaper was free in the Atom shop and there is a Nuka Shine wallpaper, which I can't find, <laughs> that was available um, from the Atom store for free by collecting items in other free items in the Atom store. So you don't have to spend money to get wallpaper. But For now I'm going to have the walls facing inwards 
And I'm going to remove the wallpaper. As you will see, this is a section that has a, a tab across. It will give you the different variants of this particular wall. We're going to have some windows in our cabin. And we're going to have the door in the middle. Now we have to look at roofs. <laughs> For a cabin this size, you could use these corner pieces. But because I intend to make this larger in the future, what I might will probably do is use the regular sloped roof pieces. If you're building a cabin or a building that is two across, you can simply use the slope roof pieces. If you wanted to build your cabin three wide, there is actually a middle piece that you can add so that you can actually have a roof that's three wide rather than a multiple of two, if that makes sense. Roofs snap to walls. And to each other. So I could, in theory, continue this roof beyond the building. To fill the triangular parts in, I'm going to use these triangular wooden walls. So here we have a very basic cabin, which is frankly quite boring, isn't it? <laughs> but if you want to make that your base to start with, that's perfectly fine. But I'd like to make it slightly different. With a wall like this, if you press the X button to store it, you will see that if you, it says Y replace. If you do that, you can change any wall to a different variation of the same wall, or if you have plans for other types of wall, you can change it to those as well. I'm going to make this a door. And the reason is I'm going to put a little lean-to bathroom on. To make the lean-to, I'm going to use these half wooden walls. And the triangular walls on top. And we can now stick a slope roof on there. Maybe we'd like a porch or somewhere to sit out. It still doesn't look very exciting though. So what I think I will do is I will create a slightly bigger room perhaps to be used as a dining room or sunroom. And excuse me while I irradiate myself. This is a nice spot but there are a few um, irradiated bodies about. <laughs> Do 
What I'm going to do with this one for now is I am going to um, simply put this tower roof on the top. So now you have a building that looks slightly more interesting. Um, it has a fair amount of space. And either a storeroom or a bathroom if you want here. But it's a bit more interesting than just a, a, a wooden box. And I think once it was once you decorate it up and put furniture in it, it will it will look a lot more interesting. We need to add a door. I like all my external doors to open inwards, so for this particular door the the knob needs to be on the left. You can lock doors. If you press the left trigger, it will give you the options here to add a level 0, 1, 2 and 3 lock. I don't tend to lock my buildings very often. Um, it depends if I'm in a high level area and enemies can get inside the building. Um, it might be worth doing. I don't lock doors to keep other players out because unless a player is in PvP with you, they can't actually damage your building. So I tend to leave my doors unlocked, but that's completely up to you. You can in fact also lock windows, uh, these shutters. Again, if you press the left trigger, it will show you the... Um, uh, obviously be aware that if someone does pick a lock at your camp they will become wanted which means that they will probably die <laughs> because other players will be able to kill them for a bounty so here's our first little cabin and um, I hope you like it I think that what I will do next week is that I will take this very simple building and I will expand it and show you how to build an upstairs on your cabin and some dormer windows and to put on a porch. So I hope that's been helpful. If it has, please let me know. If there's anything that I obviously missed or you think that I should have added, please feel free to discuss in the comments. Thank you for watching.